Um, that was a good way of finishing a day. Um, looking back at this morning, thought we made way too many unforced errors. It was a match that we felt like we could have won. Now, we had a great comeback. It sure was a lot of hustle. I mean, I, I can't fault the effort again. Um, that's, that's two matches in a row where our effort was outstanding, but our discipline and our execution was poor. Um, and that was a match that, that we really felt like we could have or should have won. But uh, Miami just, just beat us out when it came down to um, those hustle and discipline plays. And, and that's something that we had to fix. So the conversation that we had in the locker room is that we really we got to get discipline. You know, we really have to be specific. We have to execute well. Um, and with such a short turnaround time, um, this Florida Atlantic team is not a, a bad team by any means. I mean, they, Florida State was ranked, and they took them to five and almost beat them. And um, so to go out there and handle them the way that we did, um, the number of blocks we had, 17 and a half blocks in three sets, is, that's something else. I mean, that's, we did some great blocking on the day. So we're going out there. We're making the points. You know, we just didn't have enough offense this morning, and we weren't disciplined enough. We had the offense tonight. I thought we had the defense tonight. And I think when we put the offense and defense together, I really feel like we're a top 25 team. But to, to be that, we have to go out there and earn that. And these 50-50 matches against teams like Florida Gulf Coast and, and Miami and we, Marquette and Illinois State, we have to go out there. We have to win those matches. And we have to do that through execution, through discipline, through patience. You know, and, I, and, and we're growing up. It was really all about setting the tone for the remainder of the season. Our preseason over, is over now. Our pre-conference is over. Now we got to get into the meat of our schedule, our conference. That's really what gets us to the NCAA tournament. So now we get to start again. We get a nice win, we'll, and we start 0-0 zero and zero in conference. And, you know, this is where the rubber meets the road now. This is where it's time to execute. It's time to perform. It's time to grow up. It's time to get better. Yeah, I, I, right. I understand the question. I, I don't think our offense was different in any way. I just thought we executed it. You know, I thought balls were landing in. They were going in the spots that we were trying to hit in versus against Miami where we were trying to force something or try to, you know, thread something and it just didn't work. Um, we just made too many unforced errors against Miami. And you, you can't do that against a team of that caliber and that size. And, you know, it's it, it just that one got away from us because of lack of discipline and errors. Anne Marie and Christina throughout this tournament, but specifically today. Yeah, Christina was named all tournament for her consistent performance all the way through. I, I thought she was outstanding. Um, she really took a lot of pressure off of everybody else. We need to have both right sides um, at any given time uh, with the ability to just go off on teams, make them pay. They decide they want to overload on the left sides. I thought what happened was really our middles. I thought our middles were outstanding. Um, you know, I thought that. Uh, Catherine Westlich did a great job of, of doing her job, getting the kills where she needed to. But I thought Lachey came in and really did a fantastic job of not only holding her block, but getting kills. And that opened up everything for everybody else. And I think Anne Marie was one of the greatest beneficiaries of that. I think once Anne Marie got her feet to the ball and was able to reach and extend, I mean, she's, she's up there. She's around 10 3, 10 4. Um, she's going to be tough to block. And um, they, they tried. They tried to get their hands on it, but she was kicking balls off of hands. And so I thought, you know, she really did a nice job. I, Mackenzie keeps growing every match that she plays. She keeps getting better and better. Um, our bread and butter is going to be our ability to spread the ball around. So it's nice to have two new people step up and uh, really help us out. Any more questions, guys? Okay. All right. Great. Thanks. Perfect. Thank you.